Hello and welcome to day 15. I'm calling it the halfway point because tomorrow on day 16 with only 31 days, tomorrow will be past the halfway point. Today's not quite to the halfway point, but we're close enough. We're going to take, we're going to go with it. So I have a lot of 15s out here. These two came from the Junk Journal Studio um, cutouts, but I'm not going to use those because they don't fit with the color that I chose for today. I have these three and I, we're going to save them. I, I'm leaning towards that huge 15. I'm really thinking that big 15 will be perfect down here in the corner. I may make that decision right now. Okay, I won't put it down yet, however, because I want to do some other work to the card itself. So this card is a print that I pulled off of the jelly plate. It's one of the first prints that I pulled, one of the first successful prints that I pulled. Um... And I have gotten out, <coughs> excuse me, I've gotten out a bunch of, the, this is just tissue paper, gift wrap tissue paper. And I thought I might put it down as just kind of a background to give us some color on this side. Just some nice light colors. I don't want anything heavy or dark. I think we just need some light colors here. Some pastels. Maybe we'll just put that right down there. Got a little bit of purple. And you know me and my purple. Got to have a little purple in there somewhere. All right. Let's go ahead and start putting these down. I have my glue stick and my glue book. We're just going to cover the back with a little bit of glue. Okay, maybe a lot of glue and then put it down. And if you notice, because this was among my first gel prints, you can see my brayer line right down the middle. And rather than, you know, try to cover it up. We're going to try to make it a part of the design. So if my tissue paper wrinkles, that's just fine. Of course, now it's not good. There we go. We got some wrinkles. We want some wrinkles in there. I get collect my gift wrap tissue paper from anything and everything. So anytime somebody gives us a present and they put wrap it in tissue paper or that there, there's tissue paper as a part of the package fair game oh come on there we go it becomes fair game and fodder for my room okay we'll put a couple of overlapping layers now my glue book is starting to get a little bit gluey. Let's go crosswise. So I'm going to fold my page over and then we want to add just a little bit of purple because I have to have my purple somewhere. So let's throw my purple right in the middle. So using tissue paper, gift wrap tissue paper, I am layering up a little bit more of a background. Now I am going to put my big 15 down there. I like this big 15. All of my numbers so far, with the exception I think one or two days, have been taken out of, oh day 10. Day 10 was the day that I kind of goofed things up. Um, they've all been taken out of magazines. So there's day 15. Now I could leave it just like that, but I really am doing flowers. I do have flowers along here. I have these, which I could stick on there as a nice great big piece. I don't know if I like that one. I'm going to set that as, set that as a possibility. Um, what else do I have here? Nothing in there. I don't think there's anything. Well, let's see what's in here. These are some vellum, as well as some others that I've just thrown in there. But they were vellum flowers. OK, 
Okay, they don't, they kind of get lost in there, don't they? At least that one does. Let me see what else is here. Of course, everything's coming out except the vellum flowers. Got a nice pansy. Okay, no to you. I've got a nice pansy. I kind of like the pansy. And maybe the sunflower. And then I have two of these. There's my purple again. Is that too busy? Definitely no to these. Let me put those aside so that they're n I'm not even looking at them. Because if I've got them here on my table, I'm going to continue to consider them. And I don't want to consider them. I also have, okay, I could go with just a great big, okay. I don't know about that. I don't think this purple one is working. So we're going to take that one out. I do like that pansy up there. But then, do I want, I don't like just two flowers on there. All right, I'm going to set you guys aside. I'm going to think about you. I've got these great big daisies. Got the great big, here, you know what? Let's just do it. These are from Current. Let's just do it. We're going to give you a great big flower right there. I still like the pansy. I'm not so sure about this one. It's a little washed out. <clears throat> what if we went with... Okay. There we go. And now we'll put the pansy down. Now this pansy is, like I said, it's a vellum pansy. So it should just stick down just fine. Got to decide which way I want it. This way, I think. With the leaf pointing in. Okay, didn't use you. Let me cover you up. Let me think about this just a minute. Do I need a little bit of something? I think I do. I just need a little bit of... Let me find my barn door. That's black. Where's my barn door? It's going to be the last, you know. There we go. Okay, I've got a little bit of barn door here. Grab a piece. And I'm going to put just a little bit. Uh-oh. Did you see that? Did you see what happened? That piece pulled up a little bit. You see a little bit of my underlayer there. Check the other corners. Of course, I'm doing this not on my glue book, and I should be, because I'm going to get glue all over everything. Okay, my other corners are fine. All right. Stick. Stick. Could always use a little washi, but I don't want a little washi. I don't want any washi. And so on day 15, halfway through this challenge, I hope you're having a good time. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos and click like to let YouTube know that you like them. And there is day 15. Stick. 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 Okay, till later, this is Cindy signing off.